Hello, hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to my studio. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Well, you're probably wondering, what is this mess right here? Well, this is that file folder I was working on that you would have saw on Thursday morning. Here they are all standing up. It does stand up. Some people worried that I would need cardboard in the bottom, but as you can see, it stands beautifully. Look at this baby. <laughs> but they're the way I want them, they're by category. And it's working out great now. I'm not sure if I can show you the front. So bear with me a minute. Mm, oh, God, it's heavy. Oh, oh, there's the front. Isn't she pretty? Here, let me take these out of the pocket. There we go. So as you can see, we had that little strip we did. Sorry, I'm out of breath. Journal, some flowers, a couple butterflies, you know, lots of lace, bling bling. Um, and I am in love with it. It sits so beautifully on my desk. I'm super happy with it. Probably the best thing I've ever made for myself. Besides my idea book. But I think I like this better. Now, hold on a minute. I'm going to try. Oh, this thing is so heavy. Let's put it back on my desk. Oh, I got it. Woo. It actually sits right next to me. Give me a second here. I have to get it just right. Okay. I had to turn one of my trays sideways to make it fit because she's a little fluffy. Oh my gosh. So welcome to my channel. Welcome to all my new subscribers <laughs> and all my continuing subscribers. I love you guys. So happy you're here. Another great day in the neighborhood. Oh, woo -wee. That was something. <laughs> the picture you'll see for this, the little thumbnail on YouTube will be totally different from that because I took the picture and then I put that on there because I didn't want to struggle with it while I was trying to do a video. So I thought, well, I'll just go ahead show you that first because I was so excited by it. I had to show it off. I'm in love with it. If you're thinking about making one, do it. It's fun. It's quick. It's easy. And oh my gosh, it's the best piece of storage I've ever had for my digitals. We'll see if it works for long term. The very front pocket, I put things that I need to fussy cut and then everything back. Are These are just fussy cut digitals that I either use all the time or that I um, I want to be able to grab real quick and cut a piece out of it or maybe I need to cut some more to put in my little uh, containers or whatever but they're definitely pieces that um, I use kind of regular on my projects and then like that little front pocket you saw me take out some things that I've started fussy cutting but I need to finish so um, I can see those right next to me. I just reach right over. It's really easy. I'm super happy. Now, let me check my setup because I had it set for that. Well, it looks okay. Um, so what you see now are a bunch of pretty spring labels. These are perfect for the brighter spring projects that you may have. And these are um, by a Jewel Design, uh, Jolene. And she created a brand new set for us to use in our spring journals. It could be bunnies, Easter, whatever. We have the pink, the yellow, the blue, um, kind of a gray green. Um, well, it could be gray or green. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a beautiful color. Love this. The oranges are beautiful. I'll go with all the spring flowers. This is kind of a cherry red, like a cherry blossom. Oh, it's just adorable. It's not bright red. It's kind of a raspberry red and I love it. Um, and then the green. So we have two colors of blues and greens and you know, look at that. See, they all kind of go beautifully together and then these all go beautifully together. So on the color wheel, they're there. Perfect, I'm gonna be using some today. Maybe not in this project, but I think in my other, but I'll leave it on my desk. I also pulled a bunch. Oops, 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 sorry. Didn't mean to break your little eardrums. I also pulled a bunch of other, um, this was her another one of her sets that she had a little bit darker a little lighter some browns darker green a charcoal um what else did she have in that set oh i don't know anyway i just pulled out a few to go with a project i think we're working on today i had also printed some of those labels on um the parchment paper so this is from another company here um all album love handmade something like that album love handmade something like that it's a european company that i got these from um, on etsy so we have a lot of different labels we could play with today if we want um i also have some florals from that same other company so we're gonna make a couple quick little projects um and 
me see. I, I forgot to write my time down. Let me see how many minutes I've been at it. I got so excited. Um, we've only been on five minutes of 40 minutes. So we'll be on for... Okay. Let's see if that'll work. Let me see if that works for us. Okay. We'll see how long we go. I don't really know. All right. So I have a fun couple little projects I want to work on here. And I thought I'd just bring you along with me. Turn on the camera. I was going to do these anyway. So what I'm making are some little... How do I explain these? They're like a no paper clip, paper clip. So it helps you to clip stuff on, but you don't have any paper clips. So I'll show you how that works. And they are made using a, the ones I made in this size. You can make them bigger or smaller. I used a two inch punch and a one and a half inch punch. I punched out some hard, hard cardstock. Um, this is 110 cardstock, very heavy duty. So I just went, cut one out like that. I'll cut out two. This was like one of my card scraps. And then I'll take the little one and I will cut out a couple of those. Um, my little girl that used to have here came off, so hopefully I stay in the middle of the screen because she was kind of what guided me as to where things were. So, but that's okay. I'll figure it out. Can't be that hard. I'll just look for the 15 right here and I'll know I'm pretty close to the middle. Alrighty, so let me, this is an EK Tools. If you don't have any punches, I love, love, love these. They handle a lot of heavy paper. This is Recollections. It's okay. You know, it doesn't like a lot of heavy paper. It will cut, but it, it kind of lets me know what it thinks of it, which isn't a lot. So, all right. Now, what we want to do is I also want to cut a couple more florals. And I'm going to use G. Kerr. She has these are her background papers. And I want to, I saw one I wanted. I want that one. I love the teal, as you know. And where's the floral that goes with that? There's a background and then there's, there it is. There's a floral. There it is. There it is. All right. So these are hers. She has some lovely, lovely backgrounds. You can see roses and things, um, which is what I'm using today. So... I don't know. There's so much here. Right. Anyway, that this is how I normally store my kits. These go in my file boxes in my file cabinet. But these things that I showed you that other file for are immediate things I want to grab. I don't want to have to dig through files, file cabinet, or anything else. They're on my desk or quick grab. What I call a quick, quick grab file. So let me, again, get out my little punch. How many? I cut two of each, right? Okay, so we can make two blues and two pinks. How's that? So I want to line that up. Well, I hope you're all well. How are you? What's happening? Anything new and exciting in your lives? Everybody well? Feeling good? Oh, I want to give you an update on Mr. Greg. He, um, doctor thinks it is his gallbladder. She did concur. She said if it's not, she'll be shocked. But she said then maybe it could be um, a hiatal hernia. Either way, he would require surgery. Ugh, does not make me excited. Um, I'm just getting well myself, so I'm kind of going, oh, now what do I do? So I think, um, I didn't mean to cut those. I meant to cut these, darn it. Talking away, that's what I get. Um, so it would require some surgery. So my son said he'll come out and help because my daughter's got her hands full with her own husband, her business, the girls, homeschooling, you name it. So, um, yeah, I want that to go with that. Well, I just have two pretty circles I can use on a project. That's great, right? So let me get another little one of these. Um, I would love to get the butterfly in there, but I don't think I can kind of cut off on the sides. I'd have to go through the middle and I hate to waste that. So we'll just do it without the butterflies. It's okay. Hmm. I'm having trouble getting in there, so I'm gonna have to cut off this white. So anyway, he doesn't have his ultrasound until the 1st of April. The hospital is swamped, so if he gets worse and collapses or just doesn't feel well, can't handle it, then we'll go to the ER and he'll get an immediate ultrasound, but then he'll probably be immediately into surgery. And thanks to the you know what, they won't let me go to the hospital. So I can't even go with him, which just upsets the living daylights out of me. I don't like that. We are never apart ever. Um, so it just makes it, hmm, doesn't make me happy, but 
You gotta do what you gotta do. We're always together. I mean, we are the couple who does everything together, shops together, everything, and hangs out together. We've been together for 50 years, over 50 you now. We haven't been married because we've been married 45, but we dated five years before that. Childhood sweethearts, for those of you who are new and don't know that. So um, this would be very, would be a hardship for us to be separated. But I think, I'm hoping, if it's not anything super serious, it will just be a um, in and out surgery so he could come home the same day. So like I said, I think my son's gonna come and hang out with us. Um, if that's what happens to happen. So he'll come and help my dad, help my husband because he, he'll have to be helped to get off the couch and stuff and I can't do that right now. So maybe not lifted, but somewhat at first for the first day or so, you know, you need help getting around. So, you know, getting off the couch and stuff because you're not allowed to use your tummy muscles. So I had gallbladder surgery and I remember very well, um, had several abdominal surgeries. So I actually get it. I know what he's going to be going through. So he has all my sympathy. I just can't take care of him as well as I would like. So hopefully my son will come and do that. Oh, I don't need that green. Wrong one. Um, I have a stack of inks here. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the reach. Oh, I moved a bunch of stuff around on my desk. So everything's kind of in a different spot. So be patient with me. I have to get used to this again. But I am trying to make this a more successful workspace for me. Because I find lately it just hasn't been. Okay, guys. Where did I miss the blue? There it is. There we go. Uh, it hasn't been a very successful workspace for me lately, so I'm really trying to find a way to make it work better. It just has been kind of, you know, I don't know, destroying it. So I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to make it work better for me, you know, and so that's the reason for the new filing and the, um, all the organization early in the year and oh I got a new green it's called rustic wilderness love it with my spring papers actually would probably go very well with this in the green hmm I might leave that out too maybe we'll do those instead of the pink I'll put these aside for the moment we'll see if those maybe aren't going to get used Alrighty. now the question is do I have inkers for these probably I have the blue um, the green. Yes, I know I do because I've been working with the green. Well, excuse me, I think it's on another, let's hope those don't get bad, on another project. So, first thing we want to do is we want to ink these. Sorry, you guys, hope that wasn't too disjointed. I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of this because it will show. So, I mean, as good as you are at gluing, it still might show. So, best to just have it already done. Put it on and then you go back over it if you feel like it's not where you want it to be. You need one in each size. So I want to make two of everything in case I need it for projects. If not, it can be a thank you or it'll go in my already made, my done, my stash to be used in future videos. Okay, anybody not done in this color? Okay, I guess I... Got it all. Oh, I have to do the big ones. Okay, let me get those because they definitely have some white edges. My big punch, I need to, um, I notice it's kind of chopping up my lighter papers. I probably should cut some foil with them and that should sharpen it right up. I've always noticed it to work. It doesn't work on every punch, but most of them do pretty well with it. Excuse the mess my hands are in, my nails are in. I've been crafting like crazy, trying to get a um, design team project done for Jill Design. She's got a brand new spring bunny kit and spring floral kit coming out. Oh my gosh, talk about adorable. It'll be out in a few days. So I'm trying to get the um, <clears throat> the pieces done I need for that. Okay, so that's going to go to that. It's going to go to that. That's going to go to that. Set these over there. We'll do these. <sighs> Anybody doing anything crazy fun? My week's been pretty good, surprisingly. We, um, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I don't know what day. I lost track of the days. Um, we pulled out all of the, uncovered all the patio furniture, drug it out onto the lawn, rinsed it off. Um, then my husband power washed the patio to get all the sledge off from the, what little rain we had. You know, mixing with the dust and dirt and leaves made a mess. You know how that is. So we did that, and then we put everything back in place. And it was an 80-something degree day, 80-plus degree day. I think it was like 80, 81 or something. 
So we um, just sat out there for a while and enjoyed the quiet and there was a cool breeze and um, we, the patio was still slightly damp, but that, because we put all the furniture back on it when it was damp, it wasn't soaking wet, you know, anymore. So there was just like that little bit of humidity, a little bit of breeze, coolness. It was lovely. Oh, the birds were singing. What a beautiful afternoon. We could have sat there all day, but we had stuff to do. And then we pulled out all the boxes of florals from our storage unit in our garage and stacked them up because our daughter's going to take over the cemetery maintenance, cemetery flower uh, plot maintenance on everything. I've been doing it for 25 years. And I told her, honey, mom is done. You know, do you think you want to take it over? And she said, oh, I don't know. That was like last year. And then she just called me and said, um, mom, I'd like to do it. And I said, oh, all right. So she came over today. We had a lesson in floral, cemetery flowers. We use silks, high-end silks. Sorry, I need to drink water. And so we got to flower arrange together. That was really fun. I used to work for a florist, so, you know, I knew what I was doing there. And um, so we did that. That was really, really fun. And um, got them all made, and then we hopped in her car, and Greg followed us, and we went out to the cemetery and cleaned up, you know, the headstones and wiped everything down. And um, so... And we put out all the new flowers. So everything looks nice and clean and fresh and tidy out there. I'm really happy about that. Plus, I got rid of eight boxes of florals. So I have a little more room. We're trying to start, um, you know, we just retired. So we're trying to start, like, getting rid of the extra stuff. Because, you know, we're not going to move. So not that we know of anyway. Not for now. Um, so it was thrilling to get rid of all of the extra boxes and create some space for some things that we need to have up there. So it was and in our outdoor storage unit. So, oh, and we pulled out our little bistro set. We have a little wrought iron, black and brown, sort of a what color would be, not copper, uh, bronze. We have a bronze, adorable bronze bistro set, two chairs, you know, wrought iron. So we brought that out and put that on the patio so he and I can have coffee or afternoon snack and walk, look at our iPads or hang out there and, you know, do a little something. I could do some fussy cutting out there. Yay. I, we didn't bring out our big um, eight-foot uh, table this year. We did not bring out the big farmhouse table that's eight feet long and has four big captain's chairs and a long bench. We didn't bring that out this year. We decided we didn't use it last year. He and I used it a little bit, but um, we just decided not to bring it out. So we just have our uh, pretty little... Um, Rattan, two couches and two little chairs and a glass coffee table and, well, tempered glass. And then two other comfy chairs and brought out the umbrella stands, but not the umbrellas. We didn't put out any cushions yet because we're supposed to have some rain this weekend. But there, it's like a very low chance. So if it doesn't rain, then we'll bring out all the cushions and set it all up and make it look all pretty. So we're very excited about that. Okay, those two are done. Then I'll take us to the next step in a minute. We're mass making these. So we've been like, we got actually got a little busy there, but I feel good about the things we're doing because we're making some progress. And after being sick, I told him I want to do a little something every day, nothing major besides craft, of course. And I love using the glue stick. Normally I would use um, art glitter glue, but I want to be able to move these around and get them on here just right. I can go back over them with art glitter if they don't stick for some weird reason. But I'm using enough glue. I think we'll be okay. Uh, it's about 78 degrees here today. Not as warm as yesterday. Hopefully it'll cool down quicker though. Because it stayed quite warm in the house last night. Um, you know, for a long time. So I don't know if I got the edges of this. It didn't look like it. I'll go back over them in a minute when I'm done here. Before I glue everything else together. Um, so the last two days have been pretty eventful. I haven't been able to do a lot. Oh, and I also got to decorate up my front porch a little bit. Put some bunnies out and a couple signs that I had, Easter signs. Put out my Easter flags, because I have flags in the front yard. And um, decorative flags. I'm one of those, you know. So porch is all clean and decorated. Back patio is all clean. Got the floor stone. So I'm feeling pretty good. They're all creative things. They're all crafty creative things. Um, so let me get... Ugh. I got glue on the back of that. Not happy. Uh-oh. 
I want it to, it's going to want to glue it down, but not yet. Okay. So let me close this because we're done with that. We will need our, oh, I got some new knitting needle caps. I just went on Amazon and put down um, knitting, plastic knitting needle caps. And so, because the other one was so full of glue in the top that it wouldn't stay on anymore. It kept popping off and then it kept drying out. I was like, no, 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 no. Not cool. You can tell I've been a busy bee. I've been working on a project for Jolene. Like I said, it's a bunny kit. Oh my God, I love bunnies. I've been collecting bunnies since I was a little girl. I have an entire collection sitting in a chest. Um, little footlocker chest that I got as a young girl. And put my prize treasures in there. Well, I still have it. It's sitting in my guest room closet. But I need to pull that out. I have a beautiful bunny collection in there. Vintage, some a lot of vintage and antique bunnies. Um, and then I also have a bunch that I decorate with for Easter. So ceramic bunnies. So I have a couple uh, big ceramic ones up on my porch, but I'm gonna put a few out on my dining table and I have these adorable bunny plates. Oh my gosh, they're so, so cute. And they're spring, not so much Easter, so I can leave them out for a while. So that's my next project. So I don't always just sit here and craft. I have other crafty things I do, you know. I like to decorate I have a little background and in interior design. So, all right, let's put those away for now. <clears throat> all right. Now the next step, I was going to say, did I not cover that? Oh man, I'm losing it. No, no, no. Okay. I'm good. Did you just get a kick out of that last video or what? I had the giggle so bad. Oh my gosh. I love to laugh. I mean, that's my favorite thing to do is wake up and laugh. So now, I'm going to, this has some printing, some writing, some French uh, script. So I want to make sure it is up. And then I'm going to decide, how do I want my rows? I guess, what, sideways? Kind of like it just like that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take, and you want to do just like a little tiny bit at the top. Not too much, okay? And then you're gonna slide that up to the very top. Ooh, 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 hold on a minute. Yeah, I finally found a container to put my little dry ones in because they were always floating around my desk creating a mess. Mm, I see there's a, a white spot there. Okay, so, all right. So we're gonna, we're gonna let that dry for a minute and then I'll show you why. All right, same thing here. This has some writing. This has some writing. So right side up again. I don't want to go too high or too low. But you don't want it to go over the top. Surprisingly enough, I've been able to move that art glitter glue a little bit. Not much, though. If you put enough on it, you can. If you don't put enough, if you're skimpy, you can't move it. So what this does is, look at that. It becomes like a paper clip or a tuck. And then if you have another card, you can slide it up under that. So aren't these adorable? You can put them on all your journals. And it also makes, if you, if you just barely put any glue on there, when you're, if you put it on the side of a journal, it, it becomes like a little tab. So it depends on how deep you want your tabs to be. So maybe this one, I'll barely put any on there. So you could see what a tab would look like. Now, this is not my idea. I did get this from a video that I was watching. So I won't take credit for it. But I am thoroughly enjoying it. I had to figure out where the top was on this puppy. Okay. Look at that, cute, right? Okay, then let's turn this around. I love this teal. I don't know when I'll have something to go with it, but that's okay. I'm looking at the writing. I was trying to see. There's not much there. Oh, I'll just do it like that. I don't know where the top of this is, so it's fine. As long as I get the top of the writing good, we're good. Put enough glue on there. Better to wipe it off than not have enough. Okay, so hopefully... See, you got it more, so that's barely sticking out like that. So that would be great if this was your journal. 
look what you would have. Isn't that cute? Yes. Cute, cute, cute. Love these. I can make them by the hundred. I probably will. I'll probably make them in everything I can find and just have like a little box of them on my desk. I can put them on my journals. Is that adorable or what? Now, you could add stickles to this. You could add sparkles. You could add bling. You could add pearls. Whatever you want to bling them up to decorate them. I don't think I'll decorate them until I find out what journal they're going to go in. I'm just making some bases. So I want to share that with you. Wasn't that a fun little project? All right. So let those dry. Those are wet. All right. Let's do that. Now, I have another project I want to work on. We're going to use a white paper bag. These are kind of hard to come by. This is a bakery bag. Um, so I guess you could look it up as a ba bakery bag. I've had these for probably 20, 25 years. They were sitting in, a, in my kitchen cabinet and I came across them and I went, well, gosh, I'm not using those for anything. I'm, I don't have anything that I'm filling up. There was a time I was using them. So first thing I'm going to do, I saw this on Angela Kerr's. So this is not my original idea. What I want to do is I want to fold it down. So this is our pocket, right? This is going to be our pocket. So I want to fold this down just a little bit. Let's see how wide does that make that? Six inches. All right. And it's four and a half. Well, almost, it's five inches across and we're going to make it six inches down. And I'm going to, now you could score this or you can just fold it. I'm just going to fold it. I don't want to take the time, but I'm going to try to line up my edges as best I can. And I want to go over the edge of this. So did I, oh, that barely, I'm going to go a little more. I'm going to go a little more because I really want it to have, I want it to overlap this little pocket here. Okay, so hopefully I've got it lined up good. Give it a good hard burnish. Open it up and make sure you're burnished in the middle there. Let me see how big this ended up being. Right at six. Okay, perfect. That's a good standard size, I think, for a journal, unless you're doing a TM, you know. So one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to do any gluing right now. Absolutely nothing. You want to not glue anything down this way or, or do anything else at this point. Because what you want to do is you want to decorate this. So I'm thinking about what I would like on my top cover. And I love this rose paper. I want something simple that I can kind of decorate on. Um, so let's do that. I may not get this all done. I actually have a finished one that I'm going to share with you on another video, uh, for my design team project for Jewel Design. So, um, why do I want this? Just so I know. I forgot what I said this was. I think I said it was five. Is that five? Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah. Right around five. Okay. So we'll cut it off at five. Now it's a matter of covering it and filling it, and it's pretty simple. Let's get rid of these white edges. Let's get rid of that white edge. I love these little trimmers. These Tim Holtz trimmers are the best. Aren't they great? All right, so that will fit across my top here. I left a little too much white up there. Naughty. Oh, you know what though? See, look at, I just noticed if I put that up there, I'm gonna lose all the roses. So what I'm gonna do to get a better, yeah, I'm gonna go this way. So how wide, I hate to measure stuff, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be a good girl and I'm gonna be helpful. Um, hello, what did I just do? Oh, there it is. I get this thing up <laughs> all the time. I'm going to go three and just a little over, three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. I'm gonna do three and a half. So I want this bottom half because the top has so many roses cut off. Mm. Okay, so three and a half. And I'm gonna go like this. Yeah, because I kind of want a little bit of the ruffle of the bag, but I can also, if I don't like that later, I can just put some lace there and it'll hide it, okay? So that's gonna go there. now. Last time I made this, and you haven't seen it yet, I didn't do anything about, I, I didn't like, the one thing I didn't like was I didn't like the corners. So I'm gonna just clip it. If I 
one thing about these paper bags is they curl up on you. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get in there. Okay. So that means I'm going to clip that and that. I would clip up here, but it's going to, would compromise the fold. So I won't clip up there. But I think if I do that, it's fine, right? I think it's okay. So, oh, why did I put that back? You know darn good. Well, I'm still going to need it. Now, I think that's the only place I'm going to put that. I'm going to put something else in these other spots. So I think I'll put that off to the side with all my other millions of tools here that I need right now. I'm not going to put them away because I need them all. Um, okay, so we know that's going to go there. Wasn't that pretty? I'm doing just a basic rose journal so I can, um, now the question is, do I want the miniature version here? I don't know. I do have the words, which I think would be great. So that's going to be the same size as that. So I might as well just go ahead and cut this way. I'm going to do the five. Pretty sure that's the same inside. Let me just before I... Oh, no. See, that's like four and three quarters. It's a little bit smaller on the inside. But that's five. Well, it's like four and a... I don't know what that is. One line before the five. Four. Let me... I didn't pre-cut these guys. Sorry. I just, oh, I was just going to craft. And so I thought I'll turn on the camera. These are honestly craft by the seat of your pants because I just decided at the last minute to one line before the five. Well, let's do that. I think it's like a 16th or something. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't remember. All right. Getting old. Don't remember. Don't remember anything. Oh my gosh. It's terrible. Like I said yesterday, of all the things I've lost, I miss my mind the most, and I truly believe that. I miss being sharp. I miss my instant recall, my good memory. I miss it bad. <laughs> so, what did I say this was now? Let me look at this. This is... Oh, that's going to be different. Well, no, it should be the same as the top, right? Yeah, all right. Third brain. Hello? Anyone home? Hello, hello, is the mic on? Okay, four and a half. So, is anyone listening? Anybody watching? Anybody out there? Okay, now, because I'm going to fill this up here, I guess you could still write on it or decorate it. Sorry, I'm wiggling around in my chair today. Man, these words are tiny and they're hard to see. I'm going to end up with those on backwards, you watch. I'm going to round the upper corner because it's going to go up here. Why didn't that fit? Now, I just measured that, didn't I? What? What? <laughs> okay, Lorette's going crazy. Nothing, nothing new. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's three and a half. So why doesn't that fit? Did I miscut this? Did you guys watch me miscut it? No, I cut it exactly what it says. So why doesn't it seem like it fits? Is that the same size as that? No. How did that end up shorter? Oh my goodness. I don't know. Gosh. I think I need a timeout. <laughs> I'm being naughty today. All right. Mm. Let's get that in there. Uh, I actually slept last night. Yay! First time in over a week and a half, almost two weeks. I actually slept. Not enough sleep yet, but at least I did sleep. Okay. I just told my, 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 creative brain to shut up and go to sleep. I said, shut up, go to sleep. I'm not listening to you tonight. No, no, no. We're not having this conversation in the middle of the night. You are going to sleep. Leave me alone. Alrighty. My brain's always on. Oh my gosh. Ever since I was a little girl, I've always been this way. Okay. I would pace the house at night, drove my parent, drove my mother buggy. My dad would get up with me, but my mom was like, would you go to sleep? 
Hey, like, honey, leave her alone. She just can't sleep. Oh, I love that about my dad. He would sit up with me and talk to me. I don't think he slept all that great sometimes, so I think he had a lot of worries in his job. Where did my papers go? I'm looking for my papers. Come on, people. We can do it. Here we go. Now, Jolene has a bunch of different backing colors, by the way, that she created. So, and these are some of them. So, I'm looking for one that would look good with that that I could put inside for writing paper, right? So, that's kind of purpley. I don't care for that. That's purple. Oh, it's sort of a... I could do neutral. I could do that. Or I can do that. So I pick up the lighter to go for the dark. Yeah, let's give it some color. Maybe we'll do that one. So these are all the colors these, that this backing comes in. Look at this. Isn't it great? These are all different colors. I didn't rerun any of them twice. I actually need to redo it. Ooh, there's even a teal. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so I actually, and this is a green. I actually need to reprint a few of those. These are Jolene's backing papers. It's in her shop. So if you just want plain sheets to do this with, and you don't have scrapbooking paper, because not everybody has scrapbooking paper. So it seems like you either have either or, or if you're lucky, you have both. So I love this color with this. Oh, yummy. Okay, so we have the one that's going there, the one that's going there. Let's figure out what's going here. How big do I want this? And this time, let's not muck this up, Lorette. No mucking. I want about three and a half because I want to go down under the little pocket. I may not get this done today. You'll see it finished. But I just threw this in as an extra since I was really wanting to show you. Really, I just wanted to show you my folder, my file folder. And then I thought, well, I'll show you these. But then I thought, well, maybe if I still have time. So I still have time. So here I am sharing this one with you. So I'm kind of like doing a three-in-one because the other video would have been two seconds long. Might have irritated you if I did one that short. But maybe not. Maybe you would be happy if I did one that short. Okay, what did I say? It's three and a half. All right, let's go three and a half. I didn't want to drag out the big paper cutter. That's why I'm cutting it like this. I figured out how to use this. As long as I can cut it this way, I don't I don't have to drag out the big paper cutter. If I have to cut something this way, obviously it's not fitting in there no matter what. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna print some more of these backgrounds. I didn't know how much I would use them, but I gotta tell you I love them. Plus then I can also print them, pre-print. Say I wanted this to be two-sided, I could print it on the back of this, which I have a piece of that, so I think I will print some on the back so I have it for future use. Three and a half, I said, right? Yep. All right. I love that she antiques these edges. She does this digitally. This is custom. This is custom. It's not a piece of paper she got anywhere else or anything. She created these by adding layers of color and um, softening the edges and fuzzing it and, and doing her thing on it to make it look like this. So... These are known to her, you know, she does, she does make these, um, herself. So see, it, go, it goes right under that pocket. So you don't see, you know, what's under there. If you're going to cover it, cover it, you know? So I'm actually going to, so I'm measuring every 10 seconds and in a minute we'll glue this all on. I'm trying to go, go, go. Sorry, I'm off to the side there a little bit, but I'll do where I can see. It's very bright and sunny in here, and I had to dull the turn the blinds down because it also was making it warm, too warm. So here we go. All right, so let's glue those on. Then we got to figure out maybe another piece on. Did this one fit down here? Oh, would I get that lucky? I would. Yay. So we can have that on there. Then I can decorate that with some flowers. Yay, 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 yay. Okay. I'm going to have to cut a little bit off, but not too much. Let's see how much do I have to cut off? Like a hair, which would kind of get rid of those rounded corners that I really can't use right now. I'll square them off. That's what I'll do. Or just leave them. Or you know what? I'll just round the corners of the bag. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to be cutting the bag open or anything, so it'll be okay, right? Alrighty. So we got that one, we got that one, and we got that one. Woohoo! Look at that. Rock and roll. I think for this one, I'm going to just make this antique -y. I'm not going to put the green. Um, I am going to, if I can find it. Oh, right on top. 
Yeah, I can reach those easy. I've just got my glues kind of off to the side over here a little bit. So I got to figure out where my chair has got to go to reach everything. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. You know how it is. You know how it is around here. Actually, once it's glued on, then I'll, then I'll cut it. Um, so I'll just go ahead and ink it real quick. And then I may have to re-ink, but why not? So what else is happening around here? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I've just been... I'm enjoying my crafting again. Feels good to be in here. Every day I work on a little something or everything kind of depends. I know yesterday I worked till pretty late in the afternoon, almost to dinner time. <laughs> my back was hurting, so I had to like lay down with a hot wrap for a little bit on my back. And then my husband called me to dinner. We were just having leftovers. He did. I've already planned out tonight's dinner. He will do the execution of it so I can rest for a little bit. Trying to work out a new routine for both of us because he's on a limited low to no fat diet. So am I. So it's great. We're on eating the same thing for a change. So that's making it easier. Meals were getting a bit tough because they don't know if it's his gallbladder. So until they find out, they don't want him eating a lot of fats because then he could have a massive gallbladder attack that could put him in the ICU. So we don't want that. We don't want it bursting. Or whether it just got really, really crabby and cranky because I was ill and he was stressed and he wasn't eating right and on and on and on. You know how it goes. So, all right, you guys. What do I want to use here? Oh, I used Fabri-Tac on this. <laughs> Not Zantac, Fabri-Tac. <laughs> this is, someone told me this will forever be, they will forever think of me and Zantac from now on. This is what they're going to call it. They're going to go get their Zantac. <laughs> anybody that knows what Zantac is, which is an anti-acid pill, they're going to be like, what are you getting Zantac for? Didn't they, didn't they take that off the market? Because I guess they got sued or something for a faulty product that was causing, making people have cancer and stuff. So they pulled it on the market, pulled it from the market from what I understand, unless they've rejigged it and put it back. I don't know. I'm not paying much attention to that these days. You know what I mean? So... Oh, we just had the nicest young man come to the door trying to sell a solar. Cracked me up. My husband used to work for the utility, the power utility company. And we told him, um, no, we get a massive discount. Sorry, you aren't going to be able to keep up with that. So not interested. Nice guy, though. He was also selling Vivant, which is the door, the security, the doorbell security thing. Really, really nice. I enjoy chatting with him. I like people a lot. I love to chat with people. So we had a little chat. He was a handsome young man. Didn't mind that either. Wasn't mad at it. Easy on the eye. I might be old, but I ain't dead. So I enjoyed that. My husband got a kick out of it. We chatted with him for quite some time. That's what happens when you go to an old person's door. <laughs> They're bored, so they'll talk your ears off. <laughs> I felt so bad for that guy. No, he really enjoyed us. But we were like purposely sort of waylaying him a little bit just so he couldn't like hit everybody in the neighborhood. We're like, oh, calm down, relax. And he said, well, this seems like a nice neighborhood. I said, yeah, everybody here is very nice. I said, but you realize we get hit probably three times a week by the um, front door people, <laughs> by the uh, solar panel people. Neighbors on both sides of us have them, but we get a really good deal. So we don't, we didn't need one. We didn't feel we didn't need one. And um, sides are ugly. Oh boy. Um, and then the sun shines on them. Like our neighbor next door, it shines right into our kitchen. Oh my gosh, it all but blinds us. We have to close all the blinds in the afternoon from their house. And it kind of makes it hotter in there for us. So, because the heat's just vibrating off that thing right into our, our kitchen windows and our, our front room window. We actually moved our TV out of that room. <laughs> so, it was a great TV room, but it had issues. So, we just moved it into our family room, which is by the kitchen, which is better anyway. So, Greg's happy with it in there. But um, we had quite the day today, I guess. It's nice to go out in the car. It's a beautiful spring day. Oh, it's so beautiful out today. Everything's still green. Not for long, though. If it stays warm and we don't get the rain this weekend, we're supposed to get on Sunday and... I think it's Sunday and Monday. Then the heat will dry it right out. And it'll be brown and ugly. And it stays that way till next year. Okay, I don't mind the white space there. It's fine. I can add lace if I don't like it. Or I can put lace here, which I probably will, on the top, not the bottom. But that'll kind of make it prettier. Oh, whoop, stuck to my... Give it a good burnish, because this is takes a little longer to dry, so you have a little time to 
isn't this adorable? Look at this. So cute, cute, cute. I love it. I know exactly what I want to put on there. I just got to hope I have still have some of my, I have some Tim Holtz roses that match this paper perfectly. Add a little lace, a couple of words, a, uh, which is what I wanted to do. I wanted to add a frame. I was hoping to get to that, but I don't know. Let's see what time have I got. Oh, I got about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, 15 minutes. I'll check my camera to see what time I have because I forgot to look. I did a gale. I started early. <laughs> got 15 minutes. I started and forgot to look. Hi, Gail. I know she was watching my other video. She got a kick out of it. Okay. I two hand it. it makes it easier on my poor little hands. So there we go. Also, I want a little, um, because we're going to glue that down. Flying Walindas. Okay, there we go. This is not open, but it's going to close right there. So I have that done. I don't think I'm going to do put anything else like that I need to slip in there. So now I can go ahead and close these sides. You see why I left it open? Because it's easier to slide that in there. I was not going to fight with the paper. Why do it the hard way? Why reinvent the wheel? I'm all for lazy. I mean, uh, easy. <laughs> I'm not a lazy person, but as I get older, boy, I, I'm all for it. I would like to be one. I would just like things to come easier. Life has been pretty hard, so I'm ready for some easy peasy, right? Okay, so one thing I am going to do. If I didn't glue it closed, oh, almost. I'm gonna brown bag it here. Come on now. Why is that closed on that side? Shouldn't be. Did I? I bet I did. Mm, I don't wanna rip it. So you know what? I'm just gonna leave it closed on that side. It won't hurt it. It's open on one side. Now, one more thing I wanna do, and this is very tricky, and I don't know if I wanna do this on camera. E. Okay, we'll see. I am going to take, if I can find it, oh, sorry about the noise, my craft knife. I'm right hand. It's just going to go on the right hand side of the bag. I am going to open this right here, not up here, right here. Quite the trick. So what you want to do is you want to take your craft knife, a very sharp craft knife, and you want to cut it open just on the one side. And you want to stop right at your line. See? Now open. The reason I did that, and now I'm going to go here, and I'm going to cut this up. Ta-da! We now, when you close this, we now have a pocket. Okay? Alrighty, so you can now slide a journaling card, a good size journaling card, right here. I'll have to figure out what I want to do. Now, if I'm not going to glue this down in a journal, then I would go ahead and cover the back. And I probably will cover the back because I always cover mine. I don't care if you go ahead, if you want to, you know, um, oh, see, are these my flowers? These are my butterflies. Hmm. These are Tim Holtz. Uh, my Tim Holtz shelf right in front of me. You may hear a bunch of stuff come crashing down. We'll see. All right. There we go. There's some roses. Aha, the exact rose I want. Tell me this will fit on here. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty with some lace and a butterfly. I don't know if I have one that's gonna go with that though. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. These are those little um, photo albums I get from um, Dollar Tree. I'd like either a really pale yellow one or a... These are only big ones. Yeah, these are only the big ones. I go by size. I us put small, medium, and large. Um, those are big ones. Do have any small ones in that? Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. 
One thing about the Tim Holtz butterflies, man, they're humongous. Humongous. I just want a little one. Ugh. Yikes. Well, pretty. All of these would work, but they're not the color. Oh, here's the smaller ones. I have a pale one. I just want a pale one. I want to stand. Oh. I mean, they would go. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure you're going, oh, that one, that one. But no, I don't, it's not what I have in my, I have something in my head. You know You know how it is. Do I have any sideways ones of these? I like these. Possibly. Possibly. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I like it, but I'm not in love. You know, I like to be in love. Um, there's a green one. What if I... Okay, that goes like that, actually. I have it on the wrong side. Well, that's not bad. That's possible. I just realized that was on the wrong side. What would I just do with those? Sideways butterflies. Oh, there's one. I don't think I have one that goes the other way, though. I do not. Oh, those aren't going to work because I don't have one that goes the opposite way. They all go the wrong, wrong direction. I don't know if I'm in love with that green one either. It's kind of bright. Um, maybe if I ink it down. Oh, look at this. I kind of like that. Oh, gosh, I wish you could tell me. I think the green's too matchy-matchy. I love it, but I think it's too... I love to go matchy-matchy, but I don't think I want it to go that matchy-matchy. The other thing I have is Tim Holtz Field Notes. I have to stand this up, you know that. Otherwise, everything goes flying. Okay, so here's some little butterflies from my Tim Holtz Field Notes. I was going the wrong way. The wrong color. Uh, I don't know if I would like an orange one. Almost too small. Okay, so that's too small. I'll have bigger ones on this other side. Hmm. They always have them going only one way and not the other. Butterflies fly both ways. Oh, bummer. It might be that one. Okay, well, Mr. Tim Holtz. These are too small. And I don't like bees. I'm not a bee and bird fan. I'm becoming more of a bird fan. I mean, I love birds, but I don't, I don't know, for some reason, I don't gravitate towards them in my journals. No bees, no birds, no mushrooms. Just not my thing. I don't know why, what the deal is with me, but I just, let's see if there was anything else Tim Holtzy that I wanted. Hmm. Alrighty. Ouch. Hmm. I'm, think, I'm trying to think if there's any other... Well, I have other butterflies. I mean, I have lots and lots and lots of butterflies. Let's see. Tim Holtz, no. Where's my butterfly? I have an actual butterfly book. Butterflies. Okay. I'll go a long ways for a butterfly, won't I? Flowers. Okay. Birds. Which never move because I never use them. I don't even know why I have them. Ooh, there's a pretty butterfly. I can fussy cut it. I do fussy cut these. I have these little, these, I fussy cut these all the time when I use them. For a while there was on a butterfly kick. I had butterflies on everything. And I kind of quit using them, forgot about them, which you know, that goes. Hmm. I have some pink butterflies, but not many. I've got lots of blue butterflies. Uh, oh, see, I was thinking something like this, but a small version. I don't think I have one. I will look, but that's a little smaller, but I think even smaller than that. I don't think I have a smaller one than that, and that going that way. You know, it's hard to find them going that way. 
at least in my in my kit. I'm sure I could find them online. Don't get me wrong. No, not finding it. I've seen a lot of pretty ones. Don't get me wrong. You probably what about this one? What about that? When I saw that go by, just like I do to everybody when they're going through theirs, you know. But I'm uh, kind of know what I have it in my head, and I haven't seen it. Oh, that's pretty. What do we think? Oh, it got dark in here. Oh, you know what? We had fog this morning. It was way high, but we still had fog. So there we go. I need to see it a little better. So colors that look good in sort of the shady part of the room do not look good in that. Whoops, in the bright light. And that was one of them. Okay. Well, you guys, I give up. I'm fuffing around. I hate that more than anything in the whole world. So I'll put that book back later. Ugh. I'll just throw it on the floor with it. Whoops. No, that wasn't a good idea. That was a really, really bad idea. Ugh. All my butterflies fell out. Oh, no. The butterflies are loose. Luckily, the cats are not up here. Oh. Now I have a mess to clean up. Okay, I'll pick that up and put it on my table. Deal with it later. <sighs> well, I just wasted a whole lot of time. Okay, I could have had this all done. Crazy girl. I know I probably, I know where I have some, but I, I don't want to dig out anymore. I probably have the perfect butterfly. Um, I saw, I just used it on a, um, a project the other day, but I don't remember where I keep them at. That's all right, we'll just get this done. Mm, I just heard a delivery. My husband's having, he ordered some jewelers, screwdrivers to fix our glasses and things. So we didn't, I have a bunch, but they're all flat head, not Phillips head. So he had to order some, oh shucks, more tools. I'm sure he was just so upset to do that. I'm gonna put lace there. Do I want? I'm going to run out of time. Yep, there I go. I'm running out of time. Oh, man. I wanted to do... Maybe I'll go a little over. I never said this was going to be a quick video. Thank goodness. I never did say that. I was thinking I want a little cheesecloth on there. Is this double like I think it is? Yes, it is. So why... Oh. Sorry. I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's nice and thin. Perfect. E. That's perfect. 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 Okay, so we'll put that on there. All right. Well, you guys, this has been super duper fun. I've had a great time with you today. Got a few little things made. Got to show off my new storage container that I'm just gaga over. I can honestly say I love it. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to kind of scrunch it up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Is that pretty or what? Okay, so I'm going to get all gluey here. It's all right. These nails are done. I'm going to get do them tonight, get them all cleaned up. Squish it up real good. Scrunch her up. So we want some dimension. Haven't used it in a while. I'm having a good time pulling out all the things that I haven't had out in a while. I think Gail has a term for the Friday when you do it. Uh, what's it called? Finish friendly, fi friendly, finish it finding friends or something like that. I don't know, but it sounds like a great series. But I love that idea. I can't wait to see what she does with it. And oh, did you guys know she has some new digitals out? Go oh, look at those. I'm I can't wait to get mine. I haven't had time to print them. Wait to get mine printed. I will share them when I do and when I use them because uh, she has the great digitals. You should go over to her shop and buy some digitals. You know, Gail just doesn't make videos. She's also an artist who has stuff. So go see her. Let me see. Go to her shop. Cinnamon tea. Gail Augustinelli. Cinnamon Tea is her shop. 
So go right on over there and see what she's got. Oh, I want that butterfly to show pretty much. Oh, isn't that cute, you guys? And then we have this darling little, look at that. You know what? I don't like the green on there. I thought I did. I do not. So I'm going to go over it with the vintage photo. Let's see if I can take that down. I don't, I've decided that green is too much for me. I may make a new one if I'm going to use one for this. I'll make a new one for that. So look at that. Isn't that adorable? Well, we had a busy day. You got to see my new file folders, holder, folder holder. <laughs> you got to see these darling circle clips. We're going to call them circle clips. Aren't they adorable? Um, and you got to see our paper bag. Now I'm going to add a little um, tab on the side. I'll fill it up. I'll probably decorate up here, but you got an idea of where we're going with that. You'll see it in my next video when it's all done. I'll show it to you. Actually, I like this one up here because it's a different one. Yeah, I'll find something for up there. So anyway, you guys, thank you for coming along and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. I want to thank you so much for always commenting, hitting that thumbs up, and liking my videos, and you know, and just taking the time to watch with me. So I so, so, so appreciate you. I will see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses, you guys. Bye-bye.